of bad faith law, I'm often hired by other attorneys to uh, pursue bad faith claims. Uh, these usually arise out of uh, claims in which uh, an uh, insurance company failed to settle within a policy amount, and that exposes the insured to an excess verdict. Um, my background on this uh, leads me to why I'm often hired, and that was I worked for insurance companies and practiced law for insurance companies uh, approximately 10 or 12 years ago. Uh, I have a knowledge as to what adjusters think and what their knowledge is relating to uh, insurance, bad faith, and their obligations to settle cases within a policy limit. Um, these cases are often referred to me by other attorneys who have a situation where uh, they've, uh, they've obtained an excess verdict and they want to know whether or not we, they can get the full amount of the verdict from the insurance company even though that insurance company had a limited policy. And that usually comes from obtaining an assignment from the uh, insured allowing me to be their attorney and to sue their own insurance company for failing to settle within those policy periods. The cases are, don't often go to trial because insurance companies really don't want to make bad law. Uh, the insurance companies uh, at this point know that there is an obligation to settle the cases within the policy period. However, they don't want to be the ones to make a very clear, bright line rule uh, in the uh, law of the state of New Jersey as to who is responsible, when you're responsible, and why you're responsible.